I'm Eric Wille. I work in the optics section at STEC and we work on a lot of different missions for astronomy and Earth observation. One mission I'm working on is the Athena mission, the Advanced Telescope for High Energy Astrophysics. So that is a very large science mission supposed to launch in 2028 and observe the hot and energetic universe by looking at the X-rays which are emitted from black holes and galaxies far, far away. So to do that, um, a completely new technology for the mirror is needed um, because the mirror must be much, much larger and lightweighter and have a better optical resolution than past missions. So uh, to do that, uh, work actually started like 10 years ago when a new idea was born at Aztec where ESA uh, and industry holds patents and we had the idea to use uh, silicon wafers as mirror surfaces because they are commercially available, they have an extremely good optical quality and then they can be very lightweight. But the challenge is to mount them in a very precise way, to shape them correctly and put them all together because Athena will need 100,000 of these mirror plates. So that is a very large number and needs a dedicated manufacturing process. So 10 years ago, nobody even knew if that would work at all or if the whole mirror would just fall apart. So we started with a small activity uh, to develop the concept and things started very promising. Um, that was done under the, under the TRP programs, the first activity. And then once the technology uh, improved, um, it moved more over to the science programs in collaboration with the technology directorate. And now, since a few uh, years, we can manufacture complete mirror modules um, and about a thousand of them will be assembled in a telescope. And currently we are working with industry to further improve the optical resolution, to make them ruggedized so that they survive all the launch vibrations and the shock levels. And one nice thing is uh, to work together with the semiconductor industry and the space industry because they have very different ways of working and a lot of uh, challenges could only be solved by bringing knowledge together of these different companies. And uh, We have a great team in industry and a nice team at ESA and hope to be ready then for the 2028 launch.